Hello, my name is Olga Luthon. I'm a senior lecturer in clinical psychology here at Royal Holloway University. You may have heard that on the 2nd of November is National Stress Awareness Day. So I thought I'd do a short video to talk to you about the difference between anxiety and stress and how I as a clinical psychologist cope with stress day to day. Now, um, anxiety is considered to be a feeling of worry, threat, sense of dread, doom, something bad is going to happen and may or may not be related to external factors. Stress, on the other hand, is more of a sense of feeling under too much pressure. Now, a little bit of pressure is helpful. It motivates us to do things and it's useful. We all feel a little bit of stress at some point and feel under, under stress at some points in our lives, especially the now after the pandemic. I think that's been quite significant in the increase. Now, ways to cope with stress, the basics. You don't need a clinical psychologist to tell you this, uh, but nutrition, eating healthily, eating enough seeds, nuts, uh, healthy fats, and plenty of water. Exercise. Ex exercise is really important, as well as sleep. A minimum of seven to, to eight hours a day would be recommended. Other things are things like practical help, practical things that you could do, um, you know, problem solving, talk to friends, organize your uh, week, organize your, your day, uh, seek out practical advice from those that can help you with finances or with housing. Um, Self-care. Use of humour, listen to music, socialising, doing things that are fun just for the sake of it, of doing it. Um, but also things, you know, paying attention to your self-talk. How is that voice? What's that saying? Is it critical, overly critical? Is it compassionate? Is it kind enough? Would you talk to a friend like that? If not, why not? Can you change that? So paying attention to your inner um, talk is really important. And, and things like meditation, relaxation, breathing strategies. Did you know that just 12 minutes a day over a period of two weeks of practicing meditation has the potential to change your brain structure? Now, how many things could you do that actually changes your brain? I don't know many things, but that's one. And that is one that actually can help towards dealing with stress. So there you go. Some top tips. I hope they're helpful and you can find more advice on the link 